welcome to the second behind the scenes video for Storyboard Your Way to eCourse Success. So this is the online course that we've been putting together. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the back end of what the course slides look like right now. And then I'm going to show you how we record slides using Camtasia and why we didn't choose the built in uh, feature in PowerPoint to record our slides. So let's get started. So first, I'm just going to focus on lesson eight here because that's the one I am working on right now. And I'll show you what those slides look like in the presentation in the slideshow view. So this is after we've taken out all the storyboard components and this is what our final course slides look like. That was the intro slide and now this is our objective slide so I just click and you can see the text appear on screen and here's our next one so I'm talking about graphics and storyboards and making mock-ups so anyways that's a few of the slides so you can see that they're in the final production phase. It looks uh, a little different back here because I have all this layering, but um, so let's go back here. So in order to record these slides, I had looked into, because I have one monitor right now, but I mean, if you have two monitors, then you can have one in presenter mode to show your notes on one screen and then one in full screen mode so that you can see your narration script as you're recording. That's the probably the best option, but PowerPoint doesn't have an option if you only have one monitor. But there are apps out there that you can use. One is called Duet, and I did try using that, but it kind of caused some issues with my screen resolution, and so it kind of crashed now and then, so it wasn't as reliable. So I went with the old-fashioned way of just putting my notes on my iPad that I have sitting next to me, and I did this by just exporting my I'll show you right here because it might be something that you're interested in if you don't want to spend money buying a second monitor. You can go and export as a PDF. When you do that, you have to look at the options right here because if you just export as a PDF normally, you're just going to see the actual PowerPoint slides but not your notes. But if you go to options, you can say up here, you can choose notes pages. So when you do that, it's actually going to show you your actual screen with the notes below it. So it's very, very useful. And that's what I've been using. It's been working really well. So I'll just cancel that because I'm not going to do that now. So I'm going to just explain a little bit why we didn't choose the PowerPoint recording feature because there is a feature here. So I could record this from the current slide. But with PowerPoint, there are certain options like it asks you, do you want to have slide and animation timings included, narration, ink, laser pointer. So that's if you kind of did some things ahead of time. And with the animation timings, like I have some built-in ones, but there I've kind of configured certain things manually, like with my transitions. For example, with this slide, I have an intro wave file that I want to play, and it only plays for two seconds, and then the animation that's built into this slide by the time eight seconds rolled around I want I want this transition to happen so I need that to happen but with PowerPoint it, it kind of overwrites things because it's kind of thinking from the beginning of your presentations all the way to through to the end so that didn't really work well for us so I went with uh, recording with Camtasia and you could use the add-in which I do have here the Camtasia add-in that I added in, but I went with recording it directly from Camtasia. I found that worked best for us. So this is the recording here. You can see what I'm recording right now. And so I usually just pull this up and there are two hotkeys you can use. So F9 is to record or pause and F10 is to stop. So I hit that and I start with the slide before I record. So if I was doing this, I'd start with this one and I get it ready and then I can cut that part out later just to make sure I get all of the animation for my intro slide. 
So I'm just going to go and show you what that would look like, even though I'm already recording right now, just to show you what I do. So first I just cue this up and then I let it go through its animation for the intro slide. And then I have my notes in front of me here and I'm going to read them out for the first couple slides. So in this lesson, we will look at creating media mockups for your storyboard. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to define media mockups, identify the types of graphics to include in a storyboard, describe how to create a media mockup, and explain how Canva can be used to create graphics. So why would someone include graphics in a storyboard? I mean, a storyboard is just like a rough draft of the content, isn't it? Well, a picture is worth a thousand words, as the old saying goes. It helps you visualize what needs to be built for your online course. You may even create the actual images if you feel inclined to do so at that time. But this isn't necessary as graphics and storyboards are normally just mock-ups of what the visuals will look like, coupled with description in the storyboard. So I'm just going to stop there. So that's basically what I would do. And then I would hit F10 and then I would go into Camtasia and I would edit out certain things if I, you know, messed up here and there. So that's the, the gist of how I record. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to our eCourse Alley YouTube channel for more tips, tricks and behind the scenes videos.